everybody and welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, it's so cold and miserable out there today. I thought we'd cheer ourselves up with a good old Powerland haul. Um, I went into Powerland and I didn't just buy loads of snacks. So I'm pretty proud of myself, so I thought I'd show you what I got. But disclaimer, I have bought some cleaning products. So those of you of my subscribers who keep telling me off, I'll, I'll give you my wrists. You can slap them, it's fine. But yet yeah, now it's February, I thought I'd go back and have a look again because I didn't go to Poundland in January at all. So I thought now it's February, it's the perfect excuse to go and have a look and see what they've got new in. And they've got a few impressive bits. So I thought I'd show you what I've got. So if you're new here, just a quick hello, my name's Tabby. Uh, I make videos on motherhood and fashion and makeup and come shopping with me and hauls and all sorts of things. So if you like a good old mixed bag, then do please hit that subscribe button. I'd absolutely love to have you here and it means the absolute world to me and helps me out so much. So I thought I'd start with the most random bits. <laughs> First thing I picked up from Pro um, Primark Poundland was a shark mask as you do. Um, my little boy is obsessed with singing Baby Shark still. I mean I thought that ship had sailed but no Baby Shark is back with a vengeance. So I thought I'd pick up a shark um, mask to you know spice the song up a bit. So now when he says mommy Baby shark, I can go. Baby shark, do, 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 do. and the plan is he will go. Mommy, don't ever do that again. <laughs> and we should be freed of baby shark forever and ever. <laughs> but no, seriously, they got some really, they got some really great animal masks. So I got this one and I've also got a lion and the tiger from before. Um, so it helps him like learn animals and he thinks it's hilarious when we put them on. So bit of a random one, but if you're in the market for an animal mask, they have a whole range of zoo and safari animals. Next, I picked up this super exciting container. Um, few of you who watched my uh, real time cleaning video suggested that instead of me spilling my dishwasher um, salt all over the floor, I get one of these bad boys and put it in so that I can actually tip it effectively into the dishwasher without spillage. Thank you so much for the suggestions, I've got myself one, I am duly going to go and fill it with dishwasher salt and put it in the cupboard to keep dishwasher salt nice and dry and tabby floor nice and clean. So yeah, good purchase for a quid. They got a load of bits in in the Valentine's section and I literally could have bought everything. It looked so pretty all displayed all together, but I didn't. <laughs> but what I did get myself was a new cup. Um, when I do go into the offices, I don't know what's going on, but there's just no cups and the ones that are left are like, you know, the scummy brown ones at the back and nobody wants to touch those. So I thought I'd get me a cup to keep in the car so that when I go into offices, I could take it in with me. And this one was cute, super cute. It says Bumble Bays. What a fabulous play on words. And as I work in the conservation sector, bees seem perfectly appropriate. So <laughs> I thought I'd treat myself to a, a new mug. And they've got um, like some unicorn ones as well, I think. They've got some really nice designs, but this was the one that Tabby went for because of the bees. <laughs> also in the, oh, what was that? Also, also in the Valentine's Day section, they have these um, six appreciation notes. Give your gal pals some love. <laughs> Um, I thought these were really cool. They're kind of like metallic, um, metallic inspirational quotes. On the back you can see there's like six cards in there all with different kind of quotes on. So go get them girl and sassy fierce girl boss and other inspirational quotes. So um, I haven't got many girly friends so I thought what I could do is actually use these to decorate. I've got a hideous like um, clippy board thing behind you and I just don't like it at all. So I thought maybe I could use these to like spice it up a bit. And as I sit here like doing my work, this is my like office chair um i thought maybe i could look at some inspirational quotes and they would motivate me to achieve stuff <laughs> i also picked up these love scratch cards write and reveal your secret love notes <laughs> um they're actually really cool they're like little postcards and you write your message on and then you cover it up with the sticker and then you can use a coin to like scratch it off like a scratch card um that's quite a gimmick, Tabby loves a gimmick. But these are just such cute little postcards. Little rainbows and little hearts. 
and more hearts and like lollies and things. I just thought they were really cute and they come with these. These are like the stickers. I don't know if you can see the cutouts in those at all. But these are the stickers that come with them and you stick those on and then you can reveal your note. It's such a gimmick but I just thought it was a really cute idea. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use them for but I'm sure I will find something. A little bit of a random one, I've got me some googly eyes. Um, I have many small googly eyes but I do not have many big googly eyes. And as my little boy's only two... Oh. As my little boy is only two, he can't really grasp like little eyes. So I thought if we're doing some arts and crafts, we can use these bigger eyes and he can stick them on stuff and, you know. Oh, I'll have me some arts and crafts. <laughs> Next, I got my little boy this little book. It's just like a board book of all different farm animals. And it opens up like this and it's like all the noises that farm animals generally make. <laughs> Um, but actually for pound I thought don't you find like toddlers are just book destroyers if it's got flaps they bend them they rip them I try to be super super careful getting my little boy to look after books but inevitably they're so heavy handed at two uh, that they just you know books just don't survive and if you're like me you're very protective of your expensive beautiful books so something like this from Poundland you can just give them and they can look through it themselves and it doesn't matter too much if it gets damaged or bent they could just really enjoy it and you know it was a quid <laughs> next I got this it's just this stand to attention phone and tablet stand and it's a rainbow um i just thought this would be really useful to keep on my desk i haven't got a, st um, a stand for my phone at all so all it is is this and this and that pushes through there and jobs are good <laughs> um probably could have made it myself out of a bit of cardboard but you know it was a pound and it's a rainbow so reasoning right cleaning products should we do that next let's let, let's just Let's just do it. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I can't help myself. <laughs> I got myself some um, astonished bathroom cleaner. I'm actually out of bathroom cleaner and our bathrooms are in need of a good clean. So this is like the best one. Everybody raves about it. So I picked one of these up. Um, I got, oh my goodness, these are like scent boosters. And you know those balls that you get? Oh, what are they called? Oh my god, what are they called? Lenore Unstoppables. So they're a bit like those, but these smell lovely. To be honest, there was loads of this one missing and I thought that's going to be the best fragrance. But actually I think this one smells a little bit more like a toilet cleaner. This one though is lovely. Now the only difference that I can really see between these and the Unstoppables is the Unstoppables are like bigger balls. Um, <laughs> You know, like millions of sweets, they're like that size balls, where these are like smaller balls. Um, I don't know if you can see in there. Let's see if you can see in there. There you go. Can you see it's more like a sand texture than balls? Um, but, you know, who cares? <laughs> I think I, I did look online and um, Sainsbury's for the Unstoppables, I think it's 210 grams is six pounds, but in these is like 375 grams for a pound. And they do smell really strong, they do smell really nice. Um, and you know, I like to go to town on putting my balls in my washing machine with my towels and stuff to make them smell better. Um, but when it's Unstoppables, because they're so expensive, I like put like one in. <laughs> And you're like, oh, must go careful, you don't want to spend too much, must make it last. Um, but these you can go a bit more crazy and not feel so bad about it. So I was really impressed with these, so do have a look out for these if you go to Paramount. Then I wanted to like update my cleaning fragrances a little bit because a lot of it at the moment is still Christmas fragrances and I was like, this is no good. We have to leave Christmas behind now, Tabby, we've got to move forward. So I picked myself up some spring fragrances. So I got this Harpic Active Fresh in Pink Blossom. Um, this is the toilet cleaner and um, smells nice. Not too much more to say about that. <laughs> I got myself a flash all-purpose spray with Febreze Freshness. This one is Blossom and Breeze. Um, this you can just use everywhere around the house, so it's really like useful. You can use it anywhere. Um, again, a nice fresh spring fragrance. Um, I got the 
Dettol Nutri Air for true freshness in reviving spring blossom. This is so lovely. I actually had a little squib in the shop um, and it does smell really, really nice and really, really fresh. So I'm looking forward to using that one because at the moment I've still got spiced apple, which is just no good at all for getting you in the motivated, you know, spring, summer, we're going to do this mood. <laughs> I also picked up some Star Drops the Pink stuff. I haven't been able to find this in any shops for like forever and then I saw it in my local little Poundland um, So snap one up because I think I paid about 6 99 for this on Amazon Which I thought was like the going rate. I didn't realize you could pick it up in Poundland. So now I feel ripped off um, But yeah, so I thought I'd pick up a spare because I use this on my cooker and it's brilliant Now we're in February. I'm trying really hard to like stick to a diet so I thought I'd pick this up and give it a whirl. This is the Palm Olive Gourmet Chocolate Passion Body Butter Shower Cream. Um, I was like, if I can't eat chocolate, I can at least wash in it. So I can't say it smells too chocolatey though. It's a bit funky, um, but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, they had got a strawberry one as well that's really nice, but I'm like, no, fruit is healthy, I want chocolate, so we'll stick with it, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a whirl and we'll try it out. <laughs> so my little boy was two at Christmas and I hope to start potty training him soon because he's giving me signals. I mean, at the moment I know nothing about potty training, that is my like next step in motherhood. Um, I know nothing, but in Poundland they had these Andrex Kids Clean Washlets in fruity fresh fragrance. Try saying that after a drink. Um, there's 40 in each one of these and I just thought actually these would be brilliant to just keep in the change bag. It does say they're flushable. I don't like flushing wipes at all so I probably still would have flushed them. They are flushable and biodegradable it says. Um, so you know <laughs> I just thought these would be really helpful. I've got him a little um, summer infant like mini loo. So I'm hoping that I could just keep these in the back and just keep him nice and fresh and clean when he starts learning how to use the potty. <sighs> that was a long explanation for some wipes, wasn't it? <laughs> I got some pepper pig raisins. Can't get enough of pepper pig when you've got a two year old. Um, nice healthy snacks to go in his lunch. I always tend to pick up a pack of these when we go to Paramand. They're brilliant. We like them as well. What's not to like? <laughs> and then along the healthy snacks as well, I also got these fruity pot peach and pear pieces in fruit juice. These are great, like, because I try to keep as much fresh fruit in the house as I can, but inevitably at some point before you get to the shops, you run out. So these I like to keep as a backup and just alternative to fresh fruit when like it's an emergency, a fruit emergency. Um, so these are just great to keep in the cupboard as a little extra snack um, just to make sure that you're still getting a bit of fruit here and there. I got a basting brush. This is very satisfying. This is very satisfying. Um, my basting brush at the moment is like a hairy one um, and I don't quite know how I feel about it. I hate dipping it in milk. It just feels dirty and I, th there's no reason for it to. I clean it but I just don't like it. So I thought I'd get myself a um, silicone version which I know can be completely clean and hopefully I'll be happier to dip in milk but it is also so satisfying. It's a bit like a brushy stress ball. Oh, this was actually also in the Valentine's Day section. We're not getting Valentine's Day presents. We've been married nearly 10 years. Like, we just don't do that anymore. Too much hassle, too much, like, hard work. But I did get this paper because I thought it might be appropriate for other presents. This one I thought was super funky, especially for, like, teenagers. Um, it's all rainbows and shooting stars and lightning strikes and stuff and then this one is just hearts which could be used for Mother's Day or Father's Day or whatever you want to use them for and a couple of little heart um, tags as well. Perfect for any occasion. I like to have emergency cards and paper in the house. Um, I feel like I'm doing motherhood right if I've got emergency cards and birthday paper. <laughs> Some of these Revlon Intensify Oxyfiber Technology Define Lashes. Um, 
I am trying to wear false lashes a little bit more because my natural eyelashes leave a lot to be desired. Um, so wear better to pick them up from Poundland. I'm always a firm believer that the eyelashes aren't as important as the glue. So spend like less on the actual lashes and more on the glue, which is what I tend to do. Um, so yeah, I got these and then somewhere, where have they gone? So I also picked up these ones, which it says 100% Remy hair, premium natural hair eyelashes. Um, these were the most natural ones out of all the ones they'd got. The other ones in this range were like intense. They, they were long, like really long. Um, but I've never tried like Remy hair or like real hair eyelashes before. So I just thought I'd pick them up to give them a go. They weren't in their standard range. They were kind of in their like bought in special bits from end of line and stuff. So I thought we'd try them, see how they go. Um, they might be a bit intense. I don't really go anywhere to wear like intense lashes, but We'll see. <laughs> you never know when an occasion might arise. I picked me up 500 cocktail sticks because you never know when you might need to poke a chipolata. <laughs> and last but not least, I got me a candle. I thought this was fantastic for a pound. It's in like a, a tankard. I feel like I should be singing like pirate songs and yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a really nice smelling candle and it's a big candle as well. Um, and I thought once this is burnt, I can use this as just like a bog standard candle holder and put other candles in there and whatnot. But for pan, this is glass, I thought that was actually a quite a bargain. So I'm very pleased with this. I don't quite know where I'm going to put it yet, but we'll find somewhere. <laughs> So let me know if you've been in there. What are you loving in Poundland at the moment? Is there anything like taking your eye? Anything I need to try? So I hope you enjoyed watching my Poundland haul. I'm not going to buy any more cleaning products now for a while. I need to make like a rock load of cleaning videos to use all this stuff up. Like my house needs to be pristine. <laughs> not likely um but yeah so i hope you enjoyed watching this video with me if you did please make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll look forward to seeing you in my next video take care bye